Yeah, the tutorial I didn't ask for. Well, I've got my path thing. And this is what the wireframe looks like. So I have, this is where I want my sidewalk with all like the split middles and stuff. And then on the outside of that is kind of where I want like a smaller or like the, I don't know what you call it. <laughs> the the border, I, I can't remember what it's called. Um, and I just made this amazing texture in Microsoft Paint. You heard of it. Um, where this is going to be like the main, like this is just going to tile on forever and ever and ever. And it's just going to go on. If we set the UVs straight, it'll just keep going. Um, and same with this as well. And these we can use is just like, you know, we can plop them wherever. So in this way, you are kind of just modeling with UVs, which is a slightly different approach, but I'll just go ahead and do it without explaining too much of what's going on. So, I just put this texture on a new material. I'm just going to select all these middle ones. And hit U, unwrap. And I'm going to make sure that my active one, if I hold down shift, click, whatever is my active should be just like a straight quad. We don't want one of these like slightly uh, curved ones. So I'm just going to hit this and hit U and do uh, follow active quads. That's good. And this should straighten it out. And da -da. Well, what we can do is to make it straight from the beginning is we can just like select this, hit U, unwrap. And then over here in the UV window, can hit P to pin it. And then make the same selection again. Oops. I'm just holding con holding down control for that. Now with that, with this one pinned, when I hit unwrap, everything's just going to go and follow this one that's been pinned. So that's straight now. And if I do follow active quads again, should be good. So R90. And I can just scale down. Until this fits and I can just run off and it's fine I do want this to be at a square though so I'm just gonna move it until it fits well sure whatever that's good and what I can do as well actually oops let's move it until it's right here and then this we can squish in that should stretch that out. And it's only a little bit stretching. You can't even tell. So, anyway. So now, uh, I think this is the only pinned thing. So if I just hit this, hit control, and I've got this weird thing going on here. Shift click that, U, follow active quads, okay. And then we can just take these now. You might have to hit this little button to switch like syncing mode. Because if you try and like rip the faces off on the other one, it'll like pull the vertices with it. So if I like hit these ones. But if you deselect this, then you can move that on your own. But I don't know, however you want to do it. So I'm just going to select these. R90. Uh, and just... Um, Pull this up, get it close, don't really matter, it's a black border, hit that vertex, and then, oops, turn off that sink. Cursor selected, and now we can just scale, my, change my pivot point to 2D cursor, that's up here. Take this and just scale it out. And then I can end it too. I can stretch it out one way or another. Doesn't really matter, so I'll just do that. That's good. Cool. And maybe we want to shift them over a little bit. I 
All right, and then the side bits are relatively easy. So same thing, just click this and go all the way down, holding down control. And what you could do, you know what, I'm gonna take off these end ones. Just follow along. I guess I'll get these ones too. Hit you, unwrap. Then, I guess I don't really need to hit unwrap, but I could make this my active one, holding on shift, click that, click it again. You, uh, follow active quads, boom. Oh wait, <coughs> unwrap. There we go. And then this is just click in, control shift. We'll like get like a square. It's like you're hitting a diagonal of a square. It can be useful. Okay, so this is my active one and it's straight over here. Um, I think I can just hit that. Yeah, cool. So now, R90. Oh my. And we can match that up. Um, so the top row, I'll just get the top row first. Then this row. Oops. I'm just hitting L to grab that. So this bottom one I could offset it if I wanted to. Um, just move it off somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. And then you just do that with all the other bits, I guess. Oh, when it comes to these corner bits though, I didn't do these because they weren't quadded. I probably could have and it still would have been fine. But now with these, uh, so we've got this island, this island, and this island. If I just hit P to pin those, and I can pin these up too, just so that they don't move when I'm doing stuff accidentally. Um, anyway, so if I just hit L over all those, it should select all that. And then let's select these ones too. These ones aren't pinned. So once I hit U, it screws up. All oh, right, one at a time. There we go. And then over here, I just hit, I clicked that, and then over with my cursor over here, I just hit Control L, which will just select the link of what's already selected. Wrap. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What am I doing? Oh yeah. Unwrap again. And when it comes to these end bits, this is easy enough. You can change your snap in from increment to vertex, closest, whatever. And you can just pick these up. So I'll just select this, G, Y. Oops, turn this off because that's annoying. GY and then hold on control if you have it off up here. And then just, uh, I should snap to that. And what you could do is you could do scale X zero as well. Ah! What's going on? Oh yeah. Change your pivot point to median SX zero. Or you could just snap it GX with the snapping on like that. So 
So yeah. That's one way to do it. Maybe a bit complicated, but it's also just like tiling the same thing, which is really convenient. And you can like put on tons of different variations on like the same texture sheet. Um, cause this, I don't know, it's not hard to do. Yeah, when it comes to these other ones, you can just like hit a circle, press F, unwrap it. Oh wait, stick the same material on. Uh, U, project from view. Toss that over there, and there you go. You got a, this is supposed to be like a sewer train. <laughs> Don't know if you can tell. I don't know if that would go here or not, but whatever. And then yeah, same thing over here, just add a quad. Um, same material. And yeah, you could just leave it like that. You don't even have to hit unwrap. You can just cut it up. So control R, just grab it on there. Control R, control R again. Then just select this face, control I, select everything else clear faces and yeah you just plant these around anyway That's that's it.